What's crack like everybody? It's Coach. Here playing, you know, um, good old Fire Emblem and such. So, um, I don't know. Uh, I just kind of got into this little funk where I didn't want to do anything, and now I feel like doing something. So, yeah, so that, that's what I'm going to do. Um, we are going to do restart chapter. We are on number three, Bandits of the Bargo. Okay, let's... Oh, okay. Alright, um... Let's see. Goodness, how do I play this game? Um... Boom! Enter armory. Why not? Rapiav. Rapiav. I still don't know if that's what his name is called. But you, 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 yeah, you guys get what I mean. You know, with the Rapiav. Ooh, it's exciting shit. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. I apologize. That was, that was good. Alright. Here we go. Whoa. I know him. Erica and the company pursue the thief who stole her bracelet. Their chase leads them into the mountains, where Bosba's ba Bosba's bandits pillage at will. Goodness, that was that was a rough freaking good old watchman Jane. Erica cannot ignore her countrymen's plea for help. She leads her group into search, in search of the bandits' stronghold. Alright, the bandits of Borgo. Goodness, imagine saying that three times ago. But the bandits of Borgo, the bandits of Borgo, the bandits of Borgo. <gasps> Boom! Accomplished! <laughs> the local villagers tell me that Bosba's bandits keep their lair nearby. A few of them saw a lad matching the description of our bracelet thief. It seems a fair guess that the young, that the youth is one of these bandits. Bandits? Here in Rainus, our homeland. I had no idea. Burning our villages, stealing from our people, with no fear of reprisal. It wasn't always like this. The knights used to protect the citizenry. The citizenry. Citizen. Citizenry. I got blah, blah, blah. However, with Rainus in ruins and her army tattered, law and order are hard to find. It doesn't look like the Grotto army is interested in maintaining order here. If nothing changes, Rainus will continue this sad plunge into savagery. Quadruple dot. Uh, hello? Pardon me for asking, but are you all uh, some sort of mercenary troop? Why do you ask? P -p please you have to help calm. You have to. I told him it was too dangerous, but he wouldn't listen to me. Please, you must calm yourself. Start at the beginning and speak slowly. Alright. I'm Naomi. I'm from... I used to be from a village named Lark. Except the village is gone. Gone? What do you mean? Bosba's bandits burned it down. Only Colm and I escaped. The other villagers... The bandits attacked them and... Naomi, what are you doing here? Bosma's bandits, they have a hideout here in these mountains. That's where Colm, um, Colm's my, uh, we, we've known each other since we were kids. He went to steal back something the bandits took from him. He went alone? That's a very dangerous thing. Yes, I know, Th that's what I, what I told him. But he wouldn't listen to me. If I lose Colm too, I don't know, I... Oh, please, wait, please, don't cry. Don't worry, we'll find your friend and see that he's not harmed. Really? Really and truly? Oh, thank you, thank you! I I don't have much money, but I'll do anything to help. Your Highness, what will it be? If the thief we're after has gone to the bandit's lair as well. Well, it seems as though we share a common cause with me. She is a citizen of Rainus, after all. And it isn't our duty to defend our countrymen? I'm only sad that we weren't here to protect her friends and neighbors. So, yes, I feel we must help her. Very well, Naomi. I trust you can lead the way? Er, uh, yes, it's this way. Right. Um, is there anything I can do to help? I feel so... When I was little, I used to go hunting with my grandfather. What I mean is I can... I'm not bad with the bow. Really? 
Uh huh. <laughs> I see. You should remain behind and protect Princess Erica. Hmm. Not sure who else is there, but it looks like we've got guests. Let's give them a warm welcome, lads. You see a stranger? Stick an axe in him. Whoa, this is, this is intense stuff right here. What's going on up and chip? Up and chip! Up and chip! Boom! Suck it! Suck a fish! Suck a fish! Alright, Ross is on fire. We're starting off good. Burning Man, level 2. Hey-o! Um, we will now go like that. Alright. Um, and then I know that one of the guys I'm looking for is so up right there. And then that will be that. Boom! And then you shall go up and chill. And yep, blah! Ooh! And the Vichima! <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I just make silly sounds. I'm insane. Okay. I got the door key. Alright, so what does this guy have? That's, that's what I love about this game. There's so much that goes into this freaking game. It's just, it's shocking. Alright, so. You will move there. Frogs. I should put you there. Alright, you go right there. And then you chill there. Alright, enemy phase. Oh, there's Cone. And here we go. Ha! And not a soul saw me. These bandits are easy pick. I guess I might as well start with these chests here. Clink. He opens the chase thingy. The majogan. What, what do you have? You have a hand axe. I don't want to play with that. Well, I do, but you know what I mean. You know, you pick up what I'm putting down, huh? Boom. Um, do I have a... I don't. So, we will move you here. Boom. Do that. You will go to the door. And you shall attack. Boom! Seven! Oh! Ross, you suck so much! <laughs> God damn it. Franz. Whip this bitch into shit. Yeah? Yeah. Oh! Suck fish. <laughs> We're on fire today. We're starting off pretty good. Eh? I, I don't think I've ever done this mission this uh, well before. Ooh, I don't think I should do that. Well, I guess it can't hurt because he won't be able to kill me. I think. <laughs> Boom! Yeah! Suck it. Alright, I always gotta be wary of those those freaking guys because those guys will annihilate your what you jogging the flyer dudes. <laughs> So we will go here, but if you talk to him, he will use all up his keys, you know, open the doors there. So I like to just, I let him go do his thing, and then pick him up. So, eh, you know, whatever. You would you think, though, after playing this game, I might have a, you know, like a decent chance in chess or something? No. <laughs> Fuck no. Not even close. I, I can't strategize for shit. <laughs> Boom, you fail, skank! Ooh! And death! On your head, Ensarge! <laughs> Super exciting. So yeah. Alright, other phase. He's gonna go up there. And then we are going to go like this. Boom, Iron X. Come on, hit both times, gosh darn it. Gosh, gosh darn it. Alright, so. And then we will send you there. Now, I need. I don't have any. Um. Yeah, it's a sacrifice. Gets you some points. Oh, he missed, so. Doesn't even matter now. Cool. Alright, so. We will go like this now. One shot. Get some. Usually I like to leave Erica, you know, kind of like at the end, or you know, your main unit, unit, blah blah blah, your unit, blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> your main unit at the end, just cause, um, then he can, then they can kill the boss and you know get the 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 nice experience points. And then I'm gonna go send Mulder to heal Vanessa. There's so many, so many characters in these games. I love it. Absolutely. Up, up, 
attack now. Chest. Yeah, Javelin. Javelion. Boom, send him up there. Spear sword, one shot. Death. And then the, the thing with, like, units that start out, like, super strong, uh, like, uh, you know, like Seth right there, it's like, um, they're good, but they're not as good as they could be, I guess. If that makes any sense. You will go right there. Fucking battles! Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know. They're, they're good, like, they're strong, once you, you know, you can get them up there pretty good. But, uh, I don't know, I say. stuff and numbers and whatevs. <laughs> I don't know. I just had fun. Maybe, maybe I'll put a link in the description if you just want to miss the or skip the battle scenes and you know just watch the storyline. That's okay too. Some people just come in for the storyline. Some people just get bored of this stuff. You know, it's, it's, it's whatever. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. So, Iron Sword was puff puff puff. Right. Oh, that's a good thing. He's gonna be our friend, our Tomotachi, man. Tomotachi. Oh, you die now, skank. Boom, way to go, Nimi! Huzzah, yeah, awesome. Mom's um, a fire today. Uh -huh. So, let's see. Three, four, two, three. Whoa, yeah, hit me ten. Oh, okay. Every time that gets me, I'm like, ooh, fingers crossed. Swim nights. Okay, what the hell? I like to give my weaker units a little bit more attack, because otherwise they, they just... They, they fade away! You, you know, you never use them anymore. I don't see myself using half the characters I start out with, you know? Just a, just a few of them. Like, no, seriously, like... I think the only ones I ever end up using is, like... Franz, Erica, friggin', um... I don't use Calm. He, he just kind of fades. I use Naomi. She's she's badass. Um, so yeah. Did anybody have help? To do Revivita? Revivita? Nope. Okay. Now we just let him steal all the, the stuff for us, and then and then we don't waste the keys. Although I I think I already told you guys that, but that's okay. Um, we'll go sit up from there just. She needs help. Which she usually doesn't. Oh! You're not gonna get that last one? That one. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Damn it. No! Don't you dare! Okay. I was gonna be like, you dirty stink. Okay. Get calm! Amy! What are you doing here? I told you to wait for me, I didn't I? I couldn't, it's too dangerous. Come on, let's go home. We don't have a home. Don't you get it? Look, just leave everything to me. I can take care of it in a flash, but I don't need a clumsy elf like you tra tagging along. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. We'll talk later. Don't leave my side, man. I... Alright. Oh, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy, even though he doesn't act like a nice guy. He's a nice guy. Nice guys. Gosh. They say nice guys finish last. Psh! I'm head of this bandit pack, the Mighty Bosma! Hope you've enjoyed your life, cause it's about to end! Okay. Don't you dare. Okay, I was gonna be like, son of a gun. Boom! Water! Alright, so now we do that. And then he'll attack, after gaining a little bit of health back. When you sit on the thrones, and uh, some, some of the cities, you actually gain health back. I don't know if I really told anybody that, but you know, just little hints. Some people don't know about Fire Emblem, some people do. Whatever, you know. I'm the mighty Buzz, but this ain't. Uh, he died. If you can tell. <laughs> Woo! Boom! Boom! Level six, fucking level increased. All right. So, in a Seas of Throne. You actually cannot win until your main character seizes the throne. And, you know, makes sense, right? So what you can actually do to, you know, gain a little bit more experience for your, uh, your sorcerers and whatnot is anybody, or I mean your, uh, <laughs> your healers. <laughs> sorcerers. Well, I guess some, some, 
and then mages later. But uh, yeah, you just you, you send these guys to, to heal all your units around, and it, you know they get major points instead of sitting around, you know, every level waiting to heal somebody. They can heal everyone right near the end. But you know, on levels like where you just need to survive a certain round, or you just need to, you know, like kill off all the people on the field, then you can't do that. You know, so when you have levels where you seize, you want to take that opportunity to, you know, do that stuff. C calm. What now? I told you not to worry. I could have robbed these bandits blind on my own. Thank you very much. I was worried. Uh, hold on, I'm sorry. Come on, don't start bawling. Aw, uh, it's no more dangerous stuff. By yourself. Fine, fine, I promise. But you have to stop crying all the time, all right? Uh huh. <laughs> oh yeah, take a look at this. Hmm? I got your mirror back. Remember how you cried when we left, Lark? You thought you'd lost this? I knew it was your mother's and I knew those thugs had taken it. So I went and got it back. See what happens when you give me a job? Guaranteed results. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> hey, wh why are you crying this time? Come on, stop. Knock it off. Please, Naomi. <laughs> Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite touching, but I think you best return Princess Erica's bracelet to her now. W w what are you talking about? Are you trying to say that I... W whoa, whoa, there! Hold it! It's right here! Take it! Tell me, boy, is this the path you've chosen for your life? If this girl matters to you, you must quit this dark road. Uh, yeah, right. We're leaving. Do not expect to be rescued again. Farewell. Hey, wait! Let us go with you. You can't just leave us here. Pardon? Naomi and I... Naomi and I... We've got no home to return to. No matter where we go, there's just gonna be more fighting. You're mercenaries, right? Well then, take us with you. I'm a handy guy to have around. I know I can help you out. I would prefer not, but I'll agree with Erica's decision. Our duty is a great one, however. We've no time to waste shepherding you. That's fine with us. You just wait. I promise you. I promise you won't regret your decision. I retrieved your bracelet from the bandit stronghold. Here you are, princess. Thank you, Seth. You know, father gave me this bracelet when I was a child. It has only one match in the world, and my brother wears it. Lady Erica. You must take care never to lose that bracelet. It is a proof that King Fado entrusted the future of Renee's to you. His children. Seth, what is it you're not telling me? I apologize, Your Highness. When the time comes, I will tell you what I know. Until then, I... I see. If you tell me it must wait, then it can wait. I trust you. And we should get moving again. We're safe from bandits for now, but I can't guarantee for how long. This... This is just the beginning. If we hope to free our homeland, it will take battle after battle. I'm afraid so, Your Highness. The day you and Prince Ephraim win back the freedom and honor of Renee's will come. But I fear it lies at the end of a long and treacherous road. I know. I must fight for that day. In the names of all those I could not save, I'll lead us home. Let's go! My brother awaits! I don't keep I don't know why I'm just getting, you know, I, I enjoy this kind of stuff. General Duessel. Du Duessel. Duessel. Selena, have you been back long? Tell me, how fares the campaign in Rennes? Signs of chaos abound. Brigands ride without fear, and the peasants' cries fill the air. Hmm. If Grado's troops do not enforce public order, the situation will only worsen. And still, His Majesty has given us no orders. Perhaps just this once I should take the lead. What could His Majesty be thinking? Breaking our long-held alliance with Renes? Invading without warning? He's never been this way before. He abhors violence. Hmm. And have you noticed the recent promotions? Who are they going to? Certainly not to the soldiers who have Grado's best interests at heart. I fear this invasion is the prelude of a much larger war. I feel as though His Majesty is no longer the man we knew him to be. Glenn, it doesn't matter what any of us might think of our orders. 
We are his servants, and we will not question his majesty's intentions. I know that, Selena, and yet... That's enough, both of you. His majesty summons us. Let us hope we can learn a little during our audience. I appreciate your work in fulfilling your previous orders. You are the hammers that drive the nails of the Empire's wheel. You will continue to operate without hesitation. Wherever I send you. By your command. In your majesty's name. Yes, sire. However, I know this. You, my Imperial Three, lack the strength to conquer the remaining nations alone. In the invasion of Renee's certain soldiers performed beyond expectation. I have chosen them to join you as new generals in the Empire's service. Come. Ooh. Sweet. The performance of these men surpassed even your own. With the addition of these three, the Empire will have six generals strong enough to conquer this land. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm Red. Given the man blood burial by his majesty. I know I am a newcomer, but I pray for your faith. Understood. I'm Kaliyosh. I'm a mercenary fighting in the desert. Seems I'm to be called Tiger Eye. You're a fine looking lass, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to love working with you. So, we meet again. You know me as General Vata, but you will call me the Moonstone. I'll save you worthless dogs from your own incompetence. You'll thank me later. Vata, you scum! Peace, man. Selina, Kalesh, you will bring me Philalia. Yes, sire. Sure, good is done. <laughs> Riev, do yourself. You are charged with the defense of the Empire. I will speak to you individually with more details later. <laughs> Understood, your majesty. By your command, sire. And me? Walter Glenn, I have other duties for you. Yes, your majesty? Renee's has fallen, but Princess Erica still eludes us. Her brother, Prince Ephraim, leads a resistance within our borders. Bring the siblings to me. <laughs> of course. Hmm. Alright, thank you guys for watching. See you guys across the fence. Goodbye now.